Uh, if you're referring to the the fastball secondary stuff mix, well, look, I, I think he established fastball early. Uh, these guys, you, you look at what they hit as a club, they're right around 292, 295, somewhere in that area on the fastball. The secondary stuff, it, it starts to fall off. So I think pretty good game plan by Darvish. Um, in that regard, uh, not. Uh, I think the difference between the first outing and this outing, if there's anything, uh, maybe not as sharp with, with the fastball, but yet the secondary stuff was, was in play, good shape. This is a good hitting ball club. Now, this is, uh, in, in my opinion, I, I felt like Darvish went out, threw the ball well. Um, uh, again, second outing. 87, 87 pitches. Um, still felt like he he had a little bit left, but yet um, still in in a little bit of a conservative mode, in my opinion. Uh, on on where we go, we let him we let him face Lee there, and it, along at bat, Lee's a guy that battles in the box. You know, felt like that it was it was time to get him off and and, and keep him right where he was at, and and allow the bullpen to do their job. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Did you kind of have to assuage his his feelings about having to come out of the game? Oh, I, you know, it, it, the point there is that I like the fact that you look at his body language, wanted wanted another hitter. I've got no problem with that. That's, uh, but again, there's, you know, when when a, a, a supreme competitor is is out on the mound and, and he's battling and he wants uh, another guy. I, I, I get that. I like that. We want that. Uh, he, believe me, he's going to get those opportunities. Uh, let's let's let him get through these two. We'll see how he responds and and see where we go on the third one. Jerickson Profar has made uh, a, an impact in his time here. What message has he sent? Um, to you guys, or what kind of evaluation do you make after the last week? Yeah, it's uh, well. The evaluation is easy to see to the eye. I mean, that's look what he's done for us uh, in the absence of Odor. Uh, really has been uh, exceptional. Uh, how he's handled it, the, the the production, the defense, making a uh, you know a real strong argument for himself and and. We're, we continue to evaluate that situation. Again, I to temper a, a, a little bit of it. Uh, he's he missed two years. Seems to be extremely healthy. You see him moving around. The legs are good. Uh, obviously, what you you see in the batter's box has been what we've needed at the top of the lineup. Love how the at bats look at the top of the lineup. There's. He works the pitchers. He's patient when he needs to be patient and attacks early. And he's got some two strike hits. Um, so we'll, we'll continue to, to evaluate that every single day. Jeff, I want to follow up on what she said, but his defense was pretty stellar tonight. Can you talk about that? And then also the, how well this team has been able to do so far in these last few days? Yeah, you know, the defense has been great. This is, he's a shortstop by trade. Um, and you know, we, Coming out of spring training, we wanted to to keep him at shortstop, keep him engaged, get him going, get his legs underneath him, get the get him up to game speed again, allow the body to work, allow his uh, mental framework to to get back into playing. And so he's there's there's no real surprise that uh, a, a guy that plays shortstop well it rolls over to second base and and plays well there. He's got good range, um, so. We, we we like that part of it. Now is how how our club has been playing. Uh, got great confidence. Uh, they're engaged. Uh, they believe that they're in every single game. That they have a, a shot. That when our starting pitching gives us an opportunity, that we have the ability to put put runs on the board. Obviously, there's some guys that we need to continue to to, to try to get going in, in that lineup. The exceptional part tonight for me is the top four hitters were on base 13 times. That, I, I mean, that that in itself speaks volumes of where, where uh, those guys are at right now. Uh, 
to that, the number, the, the, the fourth hitter seemed to take advantage of that. Talk about the, the night that he had. Yeah, no, it's, he's, look, how, how many ways can you continue to say it and the superlatives on, on what he is and what he means to this ball club and, and how he's playing the game right now? We, our, our job is to keep him in, in, in good shape, good frame of mind. He loves to play his game. He's, he's hungry. He's, he wants to win. Uh, he's a backbone of our lineup and our club. So uh, as he continues to go, we go. A couple more. Jerry? If you hadn't hit Lazar a third for about three weeks, what made that the right move to put him there tonight? I think just given the look of, of you know, where we were at, uh, production, um, felt like that it's time to, you know, stack the, the guys that are got the most production top four again to you know get get Mazar up there and a spot to where <coughs> he, he continues to get that extra at bat when, when we need it uh, in the game late in the game so uh, just felt like where uh, he was kind of where our offense is at uh, it, it was a time to go ahead and make that move